From the students of the Department of Meteorology and Atmospheric Science, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Good morning. My name is Tyler Brown, student meteorologist here at Penn State Campus Weather Service, here with your Friday morning forecast. Looking outside out of Beaver Stadium right now, we see the clouds have returned after a few days of being pretty sunny and having calm conditions. Clouds have entered our region, which is going to be a trend for the next few days. However, there is no fog this morning, which is going to make your commute much nicer. But looking at our current temperature right now, it's still relatively above average, only at 64 for this morning, which is warm. And it's not too windy out there, so it should be a pretty pleasant morning. And we can see across the Commonwealth, we're seeing similar conditions. Out in, out in the western portions, we're still in the lower 60s. But if we go to the east, we're seeing that it's going to be really near approaching 70. And for this early in the morning, this is, this is still well above average. And we're still seeing the effects of, of the last few days of this warm temperature and warm air. However, if we zoom out to the nation as a whole, we can see that this trend is going to change. In the east, we can see that it's still staying relatively warm. However, if we look to the west, we can see this really cold air, which has taken over most of the country. And this is due to a cold front, which is going to be moving east. And it's going to be entering our region very soon, over the next few days, and it's going to bring some really cold air behind it. Um, looking at our current radar and satellite, we see most of the east and central portions of the Commonwealth are looking pretty nice right now, only some, some isolated clouds. But if we look at the western portion of the state around Pittsburgh, we can see that this rain band due to the cold front has been moving through. And this is going to bring rain to most of, our, to most of the Commonwealth over the next few days. But if we zoom out to look at the rest of the country, we see it's actually looking relatively dry out there, with ex except for the eastern rain and a little bit of rain in the Midwest. The most of the country is looking pretty nice, which is due to this high pressure which has been forming, mostly due to the cold air and the relatively moderate temperatures. Um, and if we're looking at our future weather, we can see going through today, it's going to be not, not too bad. For most of the east, it's going to stay just cloudy today. But this rain is going to move through, and it's going to bring some strong storms with it, although they will be fairly isolated. Um, it's going to bring mostly rain to, the, to, the, to all the, the whole Commonwealth. But by Saturday afternoon, there's really only going to be a little bit of rain left in the east. And most of the, most of the state is going to see relatively clear temperatures and clear skies with only a few clouds. Um, but it's going to be windy. And that is mainly due, if we look to our future forecast, we can see Tropical Storm Philippe is going to be moving up. And it's going to actually, it's actually going to collide with the low pressure system that hit our area. And it's going to bring some, um, some strong rain and even snow up to southern Canada. And while that won't affect us directly, it's going to bring some clouds and some really strong winds with it. Uh, we can see the next few days, it's not looking like it's going to be too much rain in our area, but it's going to be cloudy. And it's definitely going to be windy over the next few days. So make sure, make sure you're ready for some above average winds. And if we're looking at our rain totals for this weekend, it's not actually as much as you would expect. Um, in the east, we could see some areas approaching an inch and even more in isolated areas. But it's going to be relatively, relatively not, not impactful. Even with state college, it's only getting 0.09 inches projected. So overall, this isn't going to be too much of a rain event. It's just going to be isolated and fairly strong when it hits you. Um, looking at our temperature outlook, we can see, as we saw earlier, this cold front is going to be leaving the west. And it's going to bring warmer temperatures out to the west, but it's going to be bring much cooler air to the east. And really, the whole eastern seaboard is going to be feeling the effects of this over the next few days, with us, our area in particular in Pennsylvania, is going to be the strongest lead impact. Um, and if we look at our current, um, our current temperatures today, today it's still going to stay relatively warm with a high of 70, and it's going to be above average still. However, the rain is going to return, and it's going to bring some stronger storms to our area possible. And the wind will start hitting our area, but it's only going to be around 10 miles an hour. And if we, if we look at tonight, it's not going to be too bad either. It's only going to be a low of 52, but the rain is going to continue. So if you're going outside, make sure that make sure you bring a poncho or a rain jacket. Um, and if we look at our weather for, for tomorrow, this is when we're going to see that the cold front is going to hit our area with only a high of 58, which is going to be well above average after a bunch of warm days in a row. Fortunately, the rain is really only going to be early. And by the afternoon, it should taper off here in State College. But we are going to see some stronger winds tomorrow. And if we look at our seven-day forecast, we can see that really today is going to be the last warm day and summer-like day in a while. We can see tomorrow and over the next few days, it's going to really cool down. It's going to really only have highs in the 50s. Fortunately, Saturday and early Sunday are the only days where we could see, we could see rain. 
And really by the end of the next week, we could actually see those temperatures start to rise again. With by Wednesday, we're gonna be in the 60s. And by Thursday, we could even get 66. And while we might not hit 70 again, we're going to still stay fairly warm over the next few weeks. From the Pesty Campus Weather Service, I'm Tyler Brown. Have a great day and a great rest of your weekend.